guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to shoot and edit lay flats using only a mobile device. I'm going to be sharing three quick colorful setups where I will discuss the shooting and lighting process. At the end of the shoot, I will show you how to edit your images for cohesion and style. The lighting we are going to be using is very simple, available to everyone, and most importantly, free. Window light. So let's get started. To shoot the lay flats, I place my surface directly under the window as you can see by the shadows in the scene. I played around with placement of the objects, and once I got them to a spot I thought was good, I snapped a few images. While shooting, I am trying to keep my phone as level as possible. It helps to zoom in ever so slightly to avoid distortion in the corners of the images. For the next setup, our table is placed directly under the window like before, but it's a different time of day so we are now getting soft and direct light. This setup is ideal for product photography. I start off by placing my objects and once I have them set, I bring in a white reflector and I place it parallel to the window. This allows the light to bounce off of the white surface and it creates a soft shadow fill. For a stronger effect, use a silver reflector. The last shot is a multicolored setup with a graphic kind of look. When shooting this entire demonstration, I made sure to use colors that would complement each other in a grid. If you are a business or a company, there is no better way to display your brand than to use similar colors throughout your feed and one to two color presets to keep cohesion. People will recognize your brand and be drawn to it because of the style and identity. After the shoot is complete, we're going to select our favorite images. I have already done so to save time. These are the three images I have selected. The next thing I'm going to do is import these images into my favorite photo editing app that I've been using for years called Visco. I'm going to select the images from my camera roll and press import. Once the images have been imported, I'm going to select my first image and begin working on it. Here you can see they have many presets for you to choose from. And here are some of my favorites I've already used. I'm going to stick within this realm because I already know that I like some of these color palettes. So for this, what we're looking for is a good base because we're going to edit it anyway and just make minor adjustments to get the feel and aesthetic that we want. So for this, I really want to go for a pastel, light, airy look. So I'm going to start off with this preset because I feel as though this is a good base. And if you tap down on the screen, you'll be able to see the before, and if you lift your finger off, you can see the after. Next thing I want to do is click down here so I can fully edit this image. So the first thing we're going to do is lift the exposure. Next, we're going to add a little bit of contrast. Then we're going to add a little bit of sharpness. And you can pinch with two fingers to zoom in so you can really see the detail. So right around here. Next we're going to add a little bit of clarity. We're going to click on tone because I want to lift the shadows. but not too much because as you can see, when I lift the shadows too much, this area right here doesn't look as good. So we're only going to do a little bit. Next, we're going to add a little bit of grain. I like to do this just to add some texture to the image and kind of give it a film look. Once we have completed the edit, you can tap and hold to see the before and after. And if you're happy with this, which I am, we're going to click next. We're going to save this as a draft. And now that we've completed our first edit, we're going to select that image once again, and we're going to click on the three dots at the bottom right of the screen where it says more, and we're going to copy edits. Now we're going to deselect the original image and we're going to select the images that we want to apply that color treatment to. We're going to click down on more in the bottom right again and this time we're going to select paste edits. Once we have our edits pasted, you can see the three images together as a whole. So our goal here is to make them look unified and to make them have all the same color, tone, feel, 
So the image I'm going to adjust now is the middle one with the perfume and the necklace. I'm going to tap just to show you the before and this is the after. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop this image and straighten it out. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of contrast to this. And I would like to possibly tone down the white balance just a little bit to have the pink look more like the pink in the other image, which was a little more on the cooler side. And I'm going to tap before and after. And you can also zoom in and tap before and after. And now that we're finished with this, we can tap next and save as draft. So the final image is the most challenging because as you can see, the colors don't read the same in that picture as they do in the other ones. So for this one, I'm actually going to not use this color preset, but maybe another one that I feel as would be a better base for this image. So I'm going to scroll down first through my favorites and see if I have anything that I think would work. I didn't see anything there, so I'm gonna go to all the presets. I feel as though this is a good starting base for this image. So now what I want to do is straighten it out and crop it. We want to click our ratio three by four so it locks in and does not change. The next thing I want to do is just kind of mess with the settings and see if I can get it to look more like the other image. So I took down contrast a little bit. I'm going to click on tone to see if lifting the shadows would be good. And I do believe it does look better with the shadows lifted. I'm going to mess with the highlights a little bit. Highlights down just a smidge. I'm going to press OK. I'm actually looking at my crop here and it's not quite straight so I'm going to straighten this out a little bit more okay right there so now I'm going to click on my before and after and I think this could actually use maybe just a smidge down on exposure and a little bit here okay so now that I feel pretty good about this edit I'm going to click next save as draft and now I'm just going to look at them together. And I feel the color story matches very well. The pinks look very similar. Um, you do have to keep in mind that the middle image is different lighting from the other two. The other one is softer, so the way the pink is going to read will be a little different. But overall, I'm really happy with how these look. So now I'm going to select all three of my final images. I'm going to click on more and I'm going to save to camera roll. And boom, we're finished. So these are now in our camera roll. If you have any questions about any part of the process, please feel free to ask. And thanks again for watching.